Okay, so we have this uh, another problem. So a coil draws eight, uh, eight, 1875 watts when connected to a 150 volt DC source. Um, it consumes uh, 3072 3, watts when used on a 240 volt 60 hertz source. So we need to find the inductance of the coil okay so we have here our solution okay so first we'll draw the coil as it is connected to a DC source so for example this is our circuit so it's have that one in green so the circuit okay so this is connected to a 150 volt source so this will be 150 volts DC, so just write that one here as DC. Okay, so the the power in the coil, the power the, the coil takes one thousand eight hundred seventy five watts. Okay, so we could um, first get the current if we want. So we could have the current. So it's just calculate the current here so we know that P okay, P is equal to V times I so solving for I so this is equal to uh, P over V okay so the power is 1875 this will be watts over 500 about oh, 50 150 volts okay so let's calculate that one 1875 over 150 volts so this is equivalent to 12.5 so our current is equal to 12.5 amperes let's just erase first this one okay so our uh, blue blue okay. so our current is equal to 12.5 Amperes. Okay. Now, if um, if it is a coil, so the coil is itself a wire. So if it is a wire, it has resistance. Then it is a coil of wire, so it will have also an uh, it will also induce voltage. So therefore, it will have an inductance. But because the the supply is DC, so therefore the power consume or the 1875 watts consumed by the coil, coil is purely the resistance of the coil or consumed by the resistance of the coil so we could have or we could use or we could solve for the resistance of the coil so we're going to solve for the resistance so using ohm's law so ohm's law we have i is equal to V over R so using uh, this one so we could have R is equal to V over I so substituting the given so we could have 150 volts for our voltage DC then all over our i is equal to 
0.5 amperes. Okay, now using our calculator, so we have 150 over 12.5. This is equal to 12. So the resistance of the wire is 12 ohms. Okay, so that is the resistance of the coil of wire. So now we have that knowledge or we have that information. So we could now solve for the inductance of the wire. So we can only solve for the inductance of the coil of wire if we are going to subject that one to uh, an AC source because there is the effect or uh, the the effect of inductance is much uh, much seen or much observed if the supply is AC and the reason for that is the the reactance is only uh, present if your supply is an AC source okay so we will write the um, diagram for that one so we have here the circuit So for those of you who have noticed, so I have a new um, solving canvas software. So that's why I hope my presentation, my solution is uh, much clearer, clearer now because this software is much more um, user friendly when it comes to um, digital handwriting. Okay, so the supply is 240 volts 240 volts 60 hertz then let's have the um, the other information so the it consumes 3072 watts okay so the power consumption is power consumption so the power consumption is 3072 watts now the resistance of our coil of wire is still the same so because we are using still the same coil of wire so our r here is equal to 12 ohms and we are just now looking for the inductance okay so if you are going to solve for the inductance so we need to find first to find the impedance okay so we need to find the impedance so how are we going to find the impedance of course we have the current here i ran up a color of pen so we just use this one uh, the glitter pen so this is i so by getting the i we could solve for the impedance then for the impedance we have the resistance so we can now solve for the reactance the inductive reactance then out from the re inductive reactance we have the frequency so we can solve for the inductance so that is the gist of the solution okay so first we need to find the current i so it's to solve that so we have um we could use the formula that p is equal to i squared times r okay then solving for i so uh, basic uh, algebraic manipulation so we could have this one as p over r okay so let's just move first the okay so this is the zoom looks like i could not move by so we can cancel first the pen okay 
so I am much new to this uh, software okay so uh, okay, red pen okay so let's continue so we have I is equal to square root of P times R so substitute we need we now substitute the um, data so the given of the power 3072 watts and the solved a resistance which is 12 ohms we have 3072 over 12 so using our calculator so we have 3072 over 12 so the answer is equal to 16 so our current is equal to 16 amperes then we will solve for our impedance so impedance this is Z so the impedance is equal to the voltage over the current so it is like ohm's law but in the AC circuit the ohm's law the R the resistance is not the uh, the resistance alone but the impedance so in an AC circuit the ohm's law will become I is equal to V over Z that is in an AC circuit so in the DC circuit going back above that is equal to R so this one is uh, in Z because that is impedance no okay now we will solve for our Z so Z or impedance is equal to the voltage which is 240 volts over the current which is equal to 16 amperes so solving for the impedance so let's have our calculator 240 240 over 16 so this will be equal 15 okay so let's just move this one below okay 15 So this is equal to 15 ohms. 15 ohms. So from this one, the 15 ohms, we can now solve for our um, our reactance. So we we know also that Z let's have another color pen. So we'll just have red. So Z is also equal to r squared plus xl squared so if this is purely inductive circuit so that will be the impedance the other formula for impedance so solving for um inductive reactance xl so xl so we just go directly to the result of the, the result of our algebraic manipulation so this will equal to z squared minus r squared okay so substituting so this will be our uh, impedance is 15 squared minus our resistance which is 12 squared so our inductive reactance is equal to so we'll use again our calculator so we have square root of 15 squared minus 12 squared so equal to 9 so this will be equal to 9 so let's just erase this one okay so 9 ohms then our inductive reactance so let's use the blue 
So our XL, this is also equal to 2 pi FL. So we could solve now for our L. So by using algebraic manipulation, so L is equal to XL over 2 pi F. Then we have uh, two, our XL is 9 ohms. This will be 9 ohms over 2 pi. Then the frequency is 60. So 60 hertz. So using our calculator, so we have 9 over 2 shift pi times 60. And the answer is equal to uh, 0 0.024 Henry. So 0 0.024 Henry. Or we could convert that this one into milli Henry. So just use our calculator for that one. Let's press this one in. So that is 23.87 or 24 milli Henry. So 24 milli Henry. And this is now is the answer. Okay.